Welcome to our farm, a little bit of our everyday in a not so everyday life. So we're just going for a drive Sunday afternoon. We've had a quiet end to the week because we've had this phenomenon called rain. And we're just checking some dams. That one over there, that the one that we fenced out, that you saw us fence out, actually has a fair bit of water in it. So we're gonna go and have a look. Looks like it's full, yeah. Which is amazing. Big downpour last night. Down here about to start putting in some posts. Phil's doing the official measure because we thought we had a measuring tape but we don't. We don't really want to drive all the way back to the house to get one. The posts are going to go in nice and soft. Um, we've had to put the, the hubs in on the, on the wheels. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll hold that.
I just like to point out that I held this post and I've tightened that nut. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without me. A little easier in the mud than the dry. <laughs> yep, the mallet's no good. The handle nearly got tossed up the road. No more filming. No more filming. <laughs> okay, so this fence post is going in where um, it's quite compacted because it's um, where the previous gate was and Phil has actually, oh he's going to drive away so I can see it better, he's drawn three lines on the post and the bottom line is what we'd be prepared to live with. That's 900 deep. That's 900 deep in. That's 950. 950 would be our second you know, things are going fantastic. That <laughs> Tell them you're dreaming, wine. In this soil. <laughs> you get that one in winter. Oh, well, that one up the top, the first post. Oh, the first one went in, yeah. But it's been flooded. <laughs> this is, this is like. This is why you don't drive post it after a drought. After a drought, no. After no rain or anything. We almost made it to our dream line, but she's come to a pretty abrupt standstill. So it went in better than we thought. So the top's coming off.
looking at the fence. jumped out and I'm on the road just to stop them coming towards me. Dogs will come around them soon. Noisy. Yeah, 
And if you can see the ones we're shearing versus the ones we're not. So that one's getting shorn. She's a woolly one versus the ones that have already been shorn. But they're all being mobbed up together. Here's the potty. Here's the potties. Three of them. Phil's found Ernie. <laughs> Ernie, your chunker. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you want some brekkie? Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. One to go. Yeah, I want to eat out of the bucket. Morning, it's Sunday here. We are. M's in a PJ. Oh, I shouldn't probably show you that. <laughs> Don't care. M's in a PJs because it's very early. And what we're doing is we're over at the yards again. We're going to draft out the um, woolly ones, like we said yesterday, from the non woolly ones because a few just got in where they're not meant to be and get them ready for shearing. So I'm not going to film that because it's too busy. Em's over here with the bucket because the potties are in here and they need walking home. <laughs> it's going to be a pain in the neck. So anyway, that's us. That's about two weeks worth of um, our jobs this time because it was a bit wet. So we didn't actually get any much filming done. So anyway, have a great week, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.